Hey y'all, welcome back to Happily Hester After. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? So this is gonna be an unedited video. You are getting us flaws and all mess ups and all. None of that. You wouldn't have known that we didn't say it. The the fats, the fats. I'm not, I'm gonna stop photoshopping Daryl to make him look skinnier than he really is. That's the last thing I want. <laughs> anyway, we're hopping right into it. Gabrielle Union, we found out that she had her first child. Yay! Oh my God, that you is go big girl. news. First of all, if you don't know who Gabrielle Union is, get out from under the rock here. Um, yeah, she was currently in living on. She was in everything. She was in Breaking In. She was Breaking she In. Was in. She was all in the black movies. all the black movies. She was in Get a uh, uh, Clueless. She was in she all sure these movies. What I like about you. What I like about Throwback. ten things I like about no ten things ten things I ten like things about I, you. whatever it was ten things I hate ten about things you. I hate about you yeah anyway we're old point <laughs> is Gabrielle Union is a fantastic she's an embodiment of of the fertility struggle we super appreciate yes. her yes she wrote um, this book called I think we need more wine, wine. I think we need more wine or you're gonna need we're more gonna need wine. more wine something like that but basically, it's in reference to something else but yes. And, you know, basically the internet or whatever just kind of blew up a few years ago when that came out because she detailed, like, in detail her issues with getting pregnant because people were wondering, like, you know, when you're a successful black woman and you're going out and you're on TV Perfect. and stuff oh, and you don't wrong. have children, people start judging you like, oh, well, she too busy focusing on her career, not her children, not right. trying to have kids, and she not trying and, to settle And let's, let's be clear, Dwayne Wade, she's married to the basketball star Dwayne Wade. He has mm -hmm. three kids already from other but relationships. But they, they just recently got married, right? Right, so I'm explaining but, that. Is, is, is actually really important. I'm done. I was I was actually talking and you interrupted me. You don't talk about that. But anyway, I was, I was, see that. <laughs> anyway, he has three kids, and in her book, what she explained was that she didn't want kids until she got married and was taking care of his kids. That's when she decided, oh my gosh, I actually want to be a mom. So then, what happened was she ended up having multiple miscarriages. Her count was about eight miscarriages. And then eventually they found out that she had um, a, a disease that was akin to um, endometriosis, which was actually another form of it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, leading up to it, what ended up happening was uh, the endometriosis never went away. But what happened was she decided, her and Dwayne Wade equally decided to do surrogacy. And mm -hmm. so, first of all, congratulations to they them. They kept it on the hush. They kept it on the hush. Uh, ain't nobody know about it until that baby was born. Uh, the baby was born, I think, on the 7th or 8th. So we're just really happy that she was able to get through that process. And I'm actually going to read an excerpt from her book right now. Um, so in her book, We're Going to Need More Wine, we are going to um, need after revealing that she suffered as many as nine miscarriages throughout the years, she divulged this. For three years, my body had been a prisoner trying to get pregnant. I've either been out, about to go into IVF cycle, in the middle of an IVF cycle, or coming out of an IVF cycle. Uh, towards the end of my fertility journey, I finally got some answers because everyone said, you're a career woman, you've prioritized your career, you waited too long, and now you're just too old to have kids. Um, and that's on you for wanting a career. Uh, she's being sarcastic. Uh, the reality is I actually have, this is what it's called, and didn't know Adamiosis. that. Uh, a condition where the inner lining of the uterus breaks uh, through the muscle wall of the uterus, okay? Um, and at the end of the day, she ended up pressing through this. She got through the situation. And, um, and when I say press through it, I don't mean she had a natural birth or a natural pregnancy. But, but just they, that she didn't give up on wanting a child. Right. They took the eggs out and they took his sperm and put them in another woman. And boom, they had their first child. So... Um, it encouraged me and, and Ariel because we both were like, wow, like, you know, you listen to people's struggles, especially when they're famous, and you say they got all this money, but sometimes it really does just come down to one money thing. Money can't buy. Money sometimes, can't buy. Sometimes money can't buy you a kid. It can't. <laughs> it can't um, buy you happiness, but sometimes it can't buy you a kid. It either. can't buy you health. It can buy you a kid because you can, you can get pregnant. Yeah, yeah, you can buy this person. Maybe not the way you want it. Right. You know? um, and, and not to mention, there are other big stars um, that happened to have gone through the, the this situation. So check this out. Bro. Lemon from Heart of Dixie. Lemon from Heart of Dixie, but wait. Are y'all ready for this? Michelle Obama. What? I never knew Michelle Obama had... This, this is the story. 
her and Barack had gotten married and they had one miscarriage one that was enough for her she said nope <laughs> I ain't doing that again like I, I don't have anything to read off of that but she was like I'm not doing that again and they were very you know uh, Barack was very supportive and Malita Malia and what's her kids names Malia Sasha. and Sasha were both born from IVF she never had a natural pregnancy or got pregnant naturally that blew my mind because it's like what Michelle Obama, she was the she was first lady She's for Michelle eight Obama. years. I mean, like, like, and no one knew that except She's when she put out that book. When yep. she put out that book, bro. I need to write a book, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, but you already put all your business online. It don't matter at this point. I still write a book. Nah, it's too late. It, gonna no one's gonna be surprised. About my, about you gotta have people surprised. I'm write a book about my fear of. No. Um, you can't. You're about to say it. It's not supposed to be anything people know. You're messing up already. Keep it on the hush. Anyway, um, Michelle Obama, that threw me for a loop. I sent it to my wife, and it was confirmed. Was like, it was confirmed through her book that she, um, both of her daughters that are alive right now, the ages of say 17 and 20 or 18 and 20, they were both born from IVF. So that was crazy, but that just shows you you're not alone. That shows you yep. if you're going through the situation with infertility, whether it's uh, the man or the woman. Um, Meaning that one of you has an issue. It doesn't matter. There's always hope. Um, IVF, we discovered, was only, what, perfected 40 years ago. Yep. The first IVF baby, uh, she's like 40. 40 years. 40 years old. So 40 think about that. Ones, like that. Millions of children have been born from IVF. And the procedure is only like 40 years old. So yep. the gift that God gave us of science. Yeah, I said it. Debate about that in the comments. Right. We'll have a whole discussion about that. <laughs> Seriously, I think that'd be a good discussion to have. But it's legit. And also, a lot of people were talking about how Michelle Obama coming out about it. Like, it was one thing. It was one thing. You remember when Beyonce came out and was like, oh, I'm having this problem. But, but wait. It, go ahead. I'm sorry. I, it's just so weird how all these famous black women have been having fertility So, issues. it was, well, Lemon too. It was one thing when Beyonce came out. Lemon comes out. Um, you can't say Lemon. Yeah, not everyone has seen Heart of Dixie. What is her name? Jamie Lee. Jamie King. Jamie King. Uh, There's one thing when Beyonce came out about it, when um, Jamie King came out about it, when um, Gabrielle Union came out about Kim it. Kim Kardashian came out about it. But Michelle Obama used Eight to years. be our first lady. Like, no she one knew. Is like, and it's good, though, because it lets people know that it could happen to anyone. It doesn't matter, you know your history it doesn't matter like how much money you have in the bank it could happen to anybody yeah. and especially like going out in the world and being married and being young I feel her pain of what she most likely felt because right. a lot of the time you know when people find out that I'm married their first question is oh do you have kids and you know it, there's a difference between asking oh do you have kids and well why don't you have kids Whoa, uh, slow down. There's an inherent slow difference your between those two. And you know, but I like when stuff like this happens because it teaches people that you know what? You don't know. You never know. You don't they know. Been, the person that you're over here like badgering, they could have been trying to get pregnant for like eight years and you sitting here getting all up in their face, they feelings all hurt, you know, like. They, or you're inadvertent. Don't get punched. Something. Don't you get your butt kicked up out here, you know, trying to badger somebody. So. But at the end of the day, I don't even know what the title of this video. Because, like, what's the kicker? Is it Gabrielle Union or is it Michelle, Michelle Obama? Obama. Uh, Michelle That's Obama. the kicker. We're going to have to put Gabrielle that. Gabrielle Union been that, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, but yeah. But Michelle Obama is the That's thing crazy. That, like, it's so new that I only saw, like, a few news uh, That's on, crazy. So we're going to be the first and to tell the world. And get this. It's um, last month, October, was Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month. She should have. It's still on. Oh, okay. She should have released it last month. Sorry, y'all. I thought I saw it like, go off. But anyway, she should have released it last month during uh, Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month because it's a legitimate Well, that's thing. not when her book came out, so it don't matter. Yeah, but I'm just saying, that would have been perfect And there's so many, there's so many other issues. There's so many other things that happened in her book. This is just one. Like, I okay. urge you guys, I want to read it. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I want to read her book. Um, this... <laughs> that threw me off. The, the pipes. That's the beauty of living in an apartment. Um, there's some other books I want to read from other great authors and, and, and personalities that, that we know. But Michelle Obama, man, that's a big deal. So go buy her book. I'm not going to link it below because I feel like that's... Hashtag shame, shameless plug for Michelle Obama. Yay. But anyway, y'all. But anyway, y'all. <laughs> the camera turned off. Yeah. But what was that? We're not editing anything. Yeah. So... so. 
Uh, what was I saying? You were somewhere along the lines of talking about the struggle and right. That's just what this video is about. No, you were wrapping it up. You were saying. Oh yeah! If you have any like thing you want to share, any stories or any like revelations or facts or anything, if you read the book already and want to share with us some uh, some facts or whatever. Factoids, some facts, uh, facts, <laughs> yeah. facts. Factoities. Um, comment below. I don't know. Factoities. I mean, I thought we were just making Well, also, um, me um, and my wife have been working on some other things lately. Um, yeah. I'm doing a little plug right now. The Mythos Collective. You guys know I have a vlog of my own on YouTube. Yeah. But we're also doing podcasting. Um, that's something that I've been doing for that channel. You can find it on Spotify. The Mythos Collective. And um, we'll put in the link below. And me and my wife are going to try to have some really deep, introspect, like long conversations. Not just 10 minutes here and there. But I mean, we're going to sit down and have an actual conversation. And then the goal is to probably live stream it on Happily Hester After on Instagram. So you guys can watch us do it. And then uh, we'll more than likely post it. So just stick around. We got a lot coming up. And I'm excited because we're trying to expand. Up. We're trying to expand. Yes. This video is sponsored by, brought to Nobody. you by Fab the Lord. Fabulous Phoenix Creations. And, and yes, my wife also makes designs, Fabulous Phoenix Creations. That will be in the link below. And also, you can follow it on Instagram. I made this. I made this too. No, I ain't going to touch it. I'm not even going to touch it. Yeah, you're going to miss them. All right, anyway, y'all. Anyway, thank you so thank much, y'all so much for watching this video. video. Um, um, y'all don't forget if you haven't at this point hit the subscribe button go ahead and you know hit that hit thing um, go ahead and hit that like button Bye -bye. go ahead and hit that comment Bye -bye. button Bye -bye. tell me how much you like my new glasses, my new glasses. Wow. oh you see that new glasses okay. Okay. do they make me look smart huh <laughs> do they make me look smart <laughs> I mean you look now my glasses touch my cheekbones yeah she looks like a hipster Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We got some more videos coming out soon, unedited, because we just ain't got time for this. We own a business. We got things we got to do. We love y'all still, though. I mean, computer don't work. But anyway, That's thank you guys so much for watching. I was going to say that. Um, Keep a lookout for the next videos that are coming. Yay. Trying the to Mythos Collective. Go subscribe. Hashtag adulting. Uh, um, go follow it on Spotify. Sure. Fabulous Fiends Creations. Go yep. follow that on Instagram. And you subscribe. And subscribe. Anyway, y'all, just remember God, God is, is good, good all the time, time and all the time God, God is good. Yeah. good. Y'all have an absolutely blessed and wonderful, wonderful day. day. And Lord willing, we we'll will see y'all later. Time. Dang, next time? Oh my gosh, bro. I thought it was I later. I always say next time. Like, you just be making up stuff. Later makes more sense. What if there is no next time? I'm playing. I said, Lord willing, we'll see y'all next time. What if there... <laughs> Look at her glasses again. <laughs>